Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. Thank you guys for voting, this vote was actually awesome. There was three votes for the Saren Cobb and five for the Sheevan. So by a two vote difference, the Sheevan actually won. I was kind of expecting it to be like two to one or something. So it's cool that everybody actually voted. Uh, we start with a double point in oxygen, which is kind of neat. We don't have a door system. But on top of that, there's also no vents out into space. So I guess that matters a little, a little less. If we get a breach, I mean, it's not like the breach is going to go through the doors because we can't open them. If there's a fire, it's more likely to spread, but they're all immune to fire damage, and we have four of them for that reason. Rock plating means that our systems still get damaged, but there's a 15% chance that our hull doesn't take damage. And we have a heavy laser mark one, basically, but it has the added effect that if there's only one layer of shields, it will penetrate it. The difference, though, is, is I think it takes a second longer to shoot, and it requires two power instead of one. So the piercing's great, but... Eh, I mean, it's trade-ups. Also, we have fire bombs. If this could be a fire run, I think I would like that. I don't get to do those too often. And I don't know that there are any other ships that start with fire weapons. Distress. At least specifically starting with them, anyway. For, uh, pause. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire. Yay, we fired a few volleys into them and got some stuff out of that. There wasn't too much we could get out of it. We don't have ion weapons, or cloaking, or an Engi. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Of course. A pirate ship hiding behind one of the larger asteroids attacks you. You know, I had to pause immediately so that I could put power into these, but I probably should have just done that beforehand. I'm gonna take that out and put that in. Never mind. I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna put that in there. I did not realize we didn't have enough power to do this. Either way, we will go through that shield, even if it is up, for reasons of heavy pierce. I do love the piercing effect. Wow. And because this does two damage, it knocks out a full layer of shields. Ow, that hurt. Ioning my weapons. Hmm. The asteroids might just take them out in the meantime. Hey, it's delayed. They don't have enough people to go through there. I need to upgrade our sensors. I can't see what's going on in there. Can't really burn them out. Um, I'm gonna have you fix that real quick. We don't need two points in oxygen, but it's still neat. This connects to there, which connects to all of these, which connects to those. It's pretty safe to go in pretty much any direction. You detect a rebel automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling. We have to attack it then. We're gonna hit the weapons because they don't even have shields. And of course they can damage us because we don't have the double shields yet. I wanted to put the first point into... Oh, that hit in a cool way. We didn't take damage out of it at least, and we disabled their weapons. I want to get the firebombs running at the same time, but I also want to get the sensors, but we also need double shields. The three first priorities of the game. What order to get them in? There's 13, and we got a full map. An asteroid field. If that is the case, I think we're going to need the power. I'm going to take a point out of that. We have our double shields. As much as I like asteroid fields, you need at least double shields. We are, of course, still at risk. My evasion. Be an ion bomb or something. Do it. You know you want to. Or, you know, you could just miss. Yeah, that's fantastic. Keep doing that. I like that. There we go. No damage taken. Exactly how I like it. Ah, uh, to go back from 5 engine power back to 2. The difference in FDL charging. 
Eh, it's whatever. 37 is not enough to go to a store. But I need to upgrade the shields to... Oh, well, I don't know. We'll try and jump over here. Maybe we'll get a bunch and then check it out. A missile shoots across your bow when the jump completes. Your scans quickly reveal a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. We pursue in the hope of scrap. You know, there's not really a reason to shoot their shields because we penetrate them. Let's kill their evasion. It's not like they can hurt us anyway. So we've got all of the primary positions that need to be leveled up manned already. That's pretty cool. Oh, I thought we missed for some reason. I was like, what? Mmm, four fuel seven missiles is nice. But I'm gonna need a little bit more scrap. Or maybe I should have taken it. The early sectors don't really give you much. I would like to start firebombing soon. Maybe we should just go for more scrap, honestly. 14, one haul point repaired. 50 isn't going to be able to get as much of anything, but I know there's confrontations over here. Asteroid field. I want to try and get in as many of these as we can. We've already got strong stuff. They're trying to get away, so we're just going to keep shooting the cockpit? <laughs> or maybe alternate. Maybe we should probably alternate. Firebombing would just take too long to kill them unless we get a double fire. I mean, it's not like they have a med bay or anything, but we also need to be able to see inside there. Maybe I'll just have you walk in here. How many people are in there? Well, that does two damage, so it does 30 to them each time it shoots. The swamps ain't too bad. Do firebombs do damage when they... Yeah, they do 30 damage when they blow up in the room with them. Yeah, we probably could have been managing that then. If we really need to, I'll just have them move over here. If they only have two crew members, could totally do that. 78. See, now we have a decent amount to actually jump here with, but then we would waste a jump or two. There is a single ship at this beacon. They hail you. We could really use some help. Our FTL navigation system is shot. Can you help us get to a nearby station? We'll give you three fuel and... in advance. This way, yeah, we'll definitely go up. Do I want to upgrade? I think I want to upgrade that first. I might have miscalculated. One is not, in fact, two. Hmm. We science this day. A Mantis military scout seems to have just finished a salvage op on a nearby wreck. They have no time to waste with warnings and appear to wish to fight. You could uh, step in here since we're basically unstoppable. An Angie. And an Allison. I see. I'm going to take the power out of that since we don't need a dodge. And I think I'm going to try and kill him with fire. Because I'm not sure if the repair speed affects it, but I feel like Mantis put out fire slower. You know, I could probably use to shoot him, too. Take that. And now you're both in the same room. Double fire! In one of the rooms they consider the most important. Hmm, I guess I could just shoot right there and then... No, you ran away! Hey, more fire. Boom! There's just something more satisfying about this. They can never go back into this room again. And it's going to spread over here before it spreads over there. They delay only the inevitable. You're surrounded on fire on all sides! Where do you even go? I don't even need to use another bomb. Oh, please don't tell me that another system's gonna get destroyed before this Angie dies. Yeah! No more life signs. 22. Oh. We might be able to make that. You know what? I think we can make that. I'm gonna go for it. Doing it live. Ah, uh, drone control, crew teleporter, backup batteries I always want, but they only really have a use for these pretty much during the Rebel flagship fight. 
Um, man, if I had a drone system, fire drones would be awesome. Reverse ion's actually pretty cool. Battery chargers, whatever. Explosive replicator. Is there anything that I can sell? I totally want an explosive replicator. Why couldn't you have given me more of a reward? Sorry if that was like chopping up there. I didn't even notice. I just looked over and saw that we were at 100% disk usage because system was doing something. Yay, Windows 10. Anyway. I mathed that wrong. I don't know why I thought there was another jump there. Everything went wrong. Yeah, this was, we were definitely going to want that other plating. I don't know why I thought that after I came, the jump coming back, I thought it was going to be right here. Like, I completely forgot that the first jump was going to happen when I jumped here. I was like, yeah, and then I'll be able to jump back. And when I jump back here, I'm basically right there, right? Oh, bother. At least it's in a nebula. God, they can already shoot four times. We're in problems. And we can't penetrate this. Wait, if we can't penetrate this, there's no reason to shoot this, because no amount of shooting it will ever get through there. I want an extra point of power in our engines. In fact, I probably should have upgraded our engines once and then bought power, just so that we could get out of here faster. I'll put that in there for reasons if I don't have anywhere else to put it. I want to bomb their weapons. It's so cool, it shows me inside the room when it teleports in. Double fire! Do it, destroy something. I'm glad that these have a long wind-up and they don't shoot at the same time. I'm gonna put another one in here. You can't hurt me unless they're both going boom. They have a med bay. <clears throat> we, however, have a not taking damage. I wonder, is it possible to get any ship batteries if you're inside a nebula? They can't fix it. Oh, fire. Next. Mantis controlled abandoned sector. As much as I love abandoned sectors, I don't feel like a firebomb's gonna be too terribly useful in, in no oxygen environments. Oof. Man, this is really red and purple. Eh, maybe we'll go up here or something. You've entered a poorly charted area of N Mantis space. Um... Let me get sensors up. Sensors are useful. I, don't, I have 20, I'll put that in there too. Our subsystems are great. A Mantis ship engaging a civilian hails you. Sparks fly about his cockpit as he yells, Stay out of this, human, else you are next. Aid. Oh, you're not going to board me. And the first time we're seeing missiles. I'm always going to shoot here. And... Yeah, they have missiles. This isn't the time to be playing with fire. No... We didn't resist it either. I think we missed. I'm going to firebomb this. I don't even know where that missed, too. I think we just burned that planet down there. Yeah, now that he's in there, I don't need that anyway. Firebombs are gone, but we hit their weapons. That's really all that matters. I realize it's only a 15% chance to not take damage, but I don't know that it's worked for us yet. I guess it might have. Computer's always so much luckier. I shoot five shots over there, and it's like four of them are resisted. I'm like, what are the odds of that? Well, 15 times 15 times 15 times 15. Abysmal. 27 and another 13 for a full 40 because the crew did not survive the assault. I want more power in our engines. 15 and then 25. I find this to be a priority. Just in case, we can now get more. A Mantis military scout hails your ship. Foolish alien, your kind has stifled our greatness for too long. 
always shooting the weapons, and I'm probably always gonna bomb here too. Such as life in the Mantis sectors. I mean, at least we're not getting constantly boarded. While our health should make up for some of the difference of their combat bonus. Ooh. Oh, no, wait, that was only a double fire. I was like, did we get a triple on that? Angie down. Wow, they hit our... I was about to say we could just firebomb them again. We got this. Boom. Beth didn't make it. Reinhardt's gonna go down too. I ain't even gonna shoot that. You can stop. I don't know that the ship being in better condition gets us better rewards whenever we kill the crew. But, I am pretty sure the rewards are at least a little bit better because then you can scrap the whole ship. 39 and 5 fuel. Well, I mean, I don't know that we could actually take all the fuel out of there considering I set the whole ship on fire, but, you know, we got it anyway. Fish is happy. You fancy you see something moving in the shadows of the beacon, but all remains still. Yeah, this connects back up. Ooh, but this doesn't go all the way up to the exit. This goes over here. Still, we gotta get more jumps in. Just going to the next sector would be kind of dumb. You arrived to find yourself extremely close to a star. You receive a message from a pirate ship. I'm glad you arrived. Our ship is damaged, and we were getting desperate. Well, I mean, the fire will still do damage to our ship. Hmm. Yeah, go save the oxygen. Even if we are slow, we are still rock people. And we still win fights. Oh, you know what? I should take this out of here and put this in here. We'll get out of here a little faster. Maybe even before this goes off. Yep. If I start hearing effects, we're getting out of here. I just want to get them as low as possible before the next jump in case we have to fight. Wow, we might have been good to get out of here without, uh... Nope, it's time to leave. Ooh, I really hope that other one leads back up, otherwise we're gonna have to waste a jump. Back in here, please. Hey, I think it's just because when you're fighting, the engines charge slower. That's nice. At least the little boarding thing didn't do anything bad to us. Lagardi and Fish were hurt, but, nah. I guess they do have more health, so it takes them longer to heal, but, I mean, I'd rather have them take longer to heal than actually die. Oh, good, this links around, too. A derelict and still-smoking Mantis vessel floats by. The battle must have been recent. Its surviving crew beam aboard. Prepare for a fight. I mean, if you want to fight me in the medbay that badly... I guess we could do that. Unfortunately, nothing I can really do about them breaking the engines. However, it's going to take them forever to do that. I guess I could send uh, Emma over. Emma, do rock things. Do you heal while you're walking through this room? I wonder. If there's no room in the room for them. But they're just walking through. I'm pretty sure the Mantis still wins in this situation. Because they do 50% more, but we have 50% more health. Oh, you'd rather fight in there. I understand. Logic and science and whatnot. The guard is good. Emma... Emma should probably heal, honestly. This isn't a clone bay. I can't just leave them at four health and then hope that everything will be fine. And then it's like, oh no, there was a breach, and then my captain died. And it's like, Ooh, we're gonna have problems. At least we don't have a system, like, anywhere down here. Because if a fire broke out over here, it's just like, yeah, we'll deal with that later. You know... Getting boarded twice really cut into our scrap. An ion bomb, that's cool. Pre-weapon igniter! Why do I... I've never... I always say what... Uh... crew would be neat and stuff. I like this ion bomb. I don't see it like, you know, any fire weapons, but ion bombs are cool. Hacking stuns are pretty good. I love this. This is great. 
repair arm. If only we weren't so terribly poor. You remember all those other runs where it was just like, here, have all of this stuff for free. Those were great. A nearby Mantis mining operation is clearly using heavy Engi slave labor. You briefly consider the possibility of emancipating the slaves, but the Mantis presence is too formidable. You decide to lay low. Wow, that sucks. Also, I forgot... No. Oh. The distress signal is coming from... Alright, satellite defense system. Promise to help. Yay! We destroyed their stuff. I don't think we're going to get two fights here, at least. So... 30? Right? I'm going to take that out of there. And put that in there. Probably take power out of one of these. They're probably going to have double shields. And you shut batteries. Power off. Because they have double shields. And now we're getting out of here as quick as we can. Unfortunately, I think even with five, it's not possible to get out before the first ship battery goes off. I'm going to fire this here. Wow, the luck. Aw. I'd say that's a fair trade, though. Our bomb missing, but all three of those missing. Hey, we got a skill. It missed? And we just got skill ups for evasion. We're doing so well. Now nah, we're out of here. You arrive at the Long Range Beacon. You find a space station set up for travelers, but you don't have enough scrap to hire any of them. That's kind of interesting that they're paid in scrap. It seems hard to keep in a wallet. A few Federation-friendly planets still exist in the sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirates. And then life was hard. Your ship detects a faint distress signal on a nearby moon. As you approach the rock, warning lights flash as hostiles beam aboard the ship from some hidden location. Another one? I can't even force them into the med bay if they don't want to go into the med bay. Alright, I guess we got a fight in here. And then you're the one that's up there, so you need to come into here and help. Oof, the boarding situation is going to be brutal. Are we going to lose this? Nope. Because I forgot, the bars are the same length, so even if it looks like they're equal, we're in fact still winning. Where are you going? Nope, I'm not letting you do that. All of you. Into the med bay. Starger will eventually lose. But all we need is to soften them. You want to try and break that? Be my guest. Actually, why don't you go up there and fix that? And then two of you can come over here. Yeah, yeah, keep doing that. <clears throat> and Johnson's gone. <clears throat> Scoozy. Heal back up again. Fish is good. Fish, get out of there. That's fixed. You guys come over here and heal up. I feel like by this point we would have a lot more scrap. I'm also kind of worried because we don't have a way of getting through double shields. Like, if they have oxygen and there's a crew and stuff, we can just firebomb them. But if we ran into an automated drone with double shields, there's absolutely nothing I could do to stop them. We don't have a win condition for that. Because the fires would go out before they actually destroyed a system. And even then, I would run out of missiles before we managed to destroy them enough times to actually break it. Good. Honestly, winning with, like, the Rock A layout was, like, one of the hardest ships for me to win with. I might just be bad at the whole missile thing, but, oof. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. Drone parts for scrap. I will take it, because we're pretty low on that scrap thing. Hit here, hit here, maybe hit store?
No, I'm not going to surrender anybody to slavers. You're gonna come over here too? Perfect. You'll fight it out, we win that fight. They don't have any room for a med bay, even if they were going to have one. Why are you on a rock ship? You mock me. And as such, I kill you with fire. Yeah, you're not getting out of here in time. You should go to the med bay. Oh, we didn't have double shields up. I was like, how is that possible? I still had too much power in our engines. My bad. But we killed him. The slaves did not appear... It appears the slaves did not survive the fighting. You find their burnt bodies in the hold, but before you strip the ship, you hear faint noises in the walls. You break off a latch and a slave falls out of a hidden compartment, coughing. Once recomposed, the slave offers to join your crew. I like that. Human. Emma's already a good pilot. Are you good at anything other than fighting? Nope. Then you will be a repairman. Or is anybody else like, you're not good at shields. You should be the shields person. That works out better. You get on sensors because we don't have doors. The human should probably be on a system of some kind. Yeah, I think shields are a little more important than weapons. Weapons will get there eventually. We, these don't fire very fast anyway. You can't see anything through the thick gases around your ship. But you still try going to the store. Burst laser to a halberd beam. That's cool. Reconstructive teleport is awesome. Drone recovery arm is great if you're doing drone stuff. Not bad things here. Halberd beam. I haven't used a halberd beam in a while. I do love these things, but the cost of getting this thing working... Or actually, no, if I don't use the firebombs, it wouldn't be that bad. That would also give us a condition for getting through uh, double shields, because if I hit them once with the pierce, that would take down a layer, and then we could beam them. Hmm. I think this is going to be a run where we need hacking. I don't have too many ways of getting the shields down, but I do feel like a halberd beam could be neat. If I would have gotten a fire beam instead, I'd have done that, because we already have a firebomb. But it doesn't look like, at least at this point in the run, that we're getting anything that really helps towards that. And as much as I love Reconstructive Teleport, I feel like that works better with a clone bay and boarding. So I don't have either of those things, and there's no guarantee that I'll get them, or that I even need them with this run. Albert Beam. And Fuel. And Fixed. It's always a pity when I see really nice things and then can't get them. The only thing within scanning range is an old abandoned mining structure and a resupply station. They appear to have been picked clean by marauders. Good, that jumps to everything too. I always want to like not stay too close to the beacon because then I miss out on jumps, but then I end up staying too far away and we risk things. You arrive at an asteroid belt to discover that rebels. No reason to have that on. Maybe we'll just halberd beam instead. That'd probably do more damage. Oh. Ah, I hope they can't hack before that goes up again. Hopefully they only have rank 1. Asteroids, do damage over there. Asteroids! Yes! I'll take it, we'll get those. Hacking broken, you can't stop me now! When this comes back, we'll hit the other side. Even if the shields are up, we win regardless. The only difference is whether or not we hit two rooms or three. We hit three. Augment repair arm. Oh my god, no. No. Don't steal my scrap. I wonder, does it still take scrap from us if we don't need to repair? Because if we don't need to repair, then that, that thing could maybe be okay. I mean, I'm just kind of biased against it because my minus scrap for anything seems like a not okay thing to have. 
But what I always thought or never really considered was if our ship was at full health. If it doesn't tax me when we're at full health and it doesn't need to do anything, then that that might that might not be so bad. Help! Our shields are down and we won't last long. Rock armor. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed. Your improved hull taking the brunt of the asteroids that make it past your defenses. They offer you some of the scrap and fuel they were mined out of or they were mining out of the asteroid as thanks. Four and thirty-six. Only thirty. Oh. Small pirate ship messages you. Distress. As much as I love distress, if I jump here... I, yeah, we're definitely gonna get in a fight. I have to jump up here. We need to get... Oh. <laughs> Pulsar! You arrive to find a pulsar dominating the view screen. You see a small silhouette pass in front of the star before you can ponder what it is. Warning signals go off. It appears to be a ship in firing trajectory. Hmm, more mantis. Well, I mean, their shields are gonna go down. I suppose we could burn them out, but I'm worried about our systems getting... I don't know, pulsar scare me. They could potentially hurt us as well. If you could go off, I would appreciate that. Then I'll hit right here, but I also want to make sure that I hit both of the Mantis, just in case. It, it's powering up its FTL. They want to surrender. Why'd you have to move, Magni? I mean, I guess it's not like it really matters. We hit anywhere and we win. You got through! Fire's Rage. Put it out. Put it out. It didn't hit our weapons. We got lucky. It was merciful. 41. Now if we could just get out of here in a decent amount of time. Wait, why is the pilot not... Oh, we got ioned in the cockpit. That's why it was going slow. Stamp it out. And to the exit. Ah, it's already half an hour in again. You're at the long range beacon. You know, I have a phone in front of me recording the time. If I could just look down every once in a while. A nearby space station hails you. Greetings. Your arrival is most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps we can make a deal. That doesn't seem to be in my best interest. Engi? Zoltan. More blue options if you have an Engi. We don't. Potential Zoltan shields, I doubt it. I get those far too often. There's no way the game would give me another one, right? I totally take it. We, we need more offensive abilities, though. And we also need more defensive stuff. This is around the time where you want triple shields. Could also use another point into the engine. Could also use something to do if they have triple shields, because... I can't really do anything about that, other than just keep throwing firebombs and insults at them. So thank you guys very much for voting, and for watching. I hope you liked it. We're suffocating. Later, everybody.